welcome to Make Code Arcade Live. My name is Vivian. I'm at Lipture on the Make Code Forums. Um, and I'm Richard Average from the Make Code Forum. And Vivian, what kind of stream is this? Today it's a RV stream. I'm the R. Richard's the V. <laughs> we haven't quite figured out how to do the R yet. Yeah. Like I feel like it's something you can do if you have full body, but if it's just the top of us. Yeah. It's like, like it's maybe tough. this. But um, yeah, drop your like a lowercase R suggestions in chat. <laughs> yeah, lower lowercase maybe, but then it's not super official. Anyway, today um, we're we're making a bonsai simulator. So for some reason, I have this weird memory of a game that you could play on your like like iPhone before, whereas like you just have like a tree growing, and if you tap places, then you like coax your bonsai to grow in that direction. So I thought maybe we just try to make like a tree grower <laughs> and see how okay. that goes. And I've tried to do this before with math. And the math is just kind of boring and hard. So I figured why not use our tools to our advantage and instead make like um, like sprites and then have the sprites follow places and wherever the sprite is you draw. Easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Okay. okay. Um... <laughs> So, it's a shame, though, that Shannon's not here. Shannon would love doing this. Oh, yeah? Okay. Well, maybe this will take long, and then um, then then we'll do it again. So let's see. How will we do this? Maybe we make a function that's like make draw -er, Make draw -er, And then it's going to be a number, and it's going to be like trunk width. And so because, like, you know, the base of the trunk is big and it gets smaller as you get along so i want to pass this in now this makes me think we're making drawers like where you store clothes yes and that's i was going i wasn't gonna say anything but it it is drawer is a word and it is drawer <laughs> how would you write drawer then um yeah i, don't, I feel like is drawer a word Drawer. Artist. <laughs> Sketcher. I don't know. Make trunk. Make trunk. Sprite. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll add more things to this function as we go along. But we're going to make a new sprite. And what is its image going to be? It'll be maybe like a... Can it be like create image width? Aha. And the width will be this. And the height will be one. And then we'll fill the image. Can we fill the image? Yes. Okay, let's get changes. Got a question. Uh -huh. What is a bonsai? A bonsai is like a small tree. And you take like trees that are normally big trees and you grow them in a specific way so that they're miniature. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of like work that goes into making them grow into specific shapes. And then like you trim them with like these little scissors and they're really cool, but they take a lot of effort. Yeah, and like it's basically like braces, but for trees. But if also instead your <laughs> your teeth grew really long, and so you just kept on cutting it off. But also you wanted it to grow in its shape. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. More specific question: Which program is this? This is Microsoft Make Um You can get it at. Well, I'll put the link in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we make a bunch of. Usually we make like normal games every day, you know. But today we're making something weird. Because it's a RV stream, so you know there's no rules today. <laughs> and heck, since we're doing this, we may as well just return the new. Why did it? Why is this truck? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you did. You did name it truck with. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, we're gonna put it at the bottom of the screen, and then. Let's see it go. Okay, so then let's okay. Let's just give it some velocity. I'm just gonna have the base idea, where it's like you have this thing moving, and then you'll like draw a tree based on where it is. So let's give the new truck some vy, and let's make it slow. Let's make it like negative ten, and let's have uh, let's see. Can we do render x? No, let's make a new image. Let's make a new image that's like the screen, and we'll just render that. I think. New variable bonsai wood. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even go near the wood. We're trunking. 
and then let's make it one six. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize Joey had had made an addition to about a what is that just gives the brief explanation of mm. arcade. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Joey has done so many things for the bot, and then let's call That's this true. arcade. Thank goodness for this right here, because otherwise I would never be able to figure out the name of this extension. Arcade Sprite, you tell. To be honest, mm-hmm. I'm a little worried about, you know, where Joey ends and the bot begins. Like, <laughs> should we be concerned about Joey turning into an AI or something? Mm-hmm. I think we should. We should always be concerned. Um, <laughs> draw bonsai wood to screen at zero zero and then okay and then also we need to copy the pixels from the new trunk to it so then we gotta draw should i just draw it to it yeah let's just draw it to it and then we'll change the color later so let's draw the where is it draw the sprite image ray of sprites oh let's go through all of them I feel like this is a Shannon stream. Where the heck is Shannon? <laughs> yeah. She's doing work stuff. Yeah. Work. So responsible. Okay. And then draw it to the bonsai wood. I feel like I should have called this bonsai wood image. <laughs> what's with the what's with the terrible name today? Okay. And where are we going to draw it at? We're going to draw it at the sprites left and top. Yes, feel free to ask us all your bonsai questions. We are certainly not experts, but we will answer them like we are. Speak for yourself. I mean, I've never had a bonsai, but, you know, I've studied the theory pretty extensively. What a tree! Yeah, you study bonsai theory? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Now, what do we want to do? So I would say you have, like, what, what, what does a bonsai do? Bonsai will either grow one branch a bonsai will fork into two branches it will end or or okay we could fork yeah. like a y or it could fork like a you know yeah so i think that's good i think that we should have like basically at any point in time it has a chance of, of forking mm-hmm. and then like one of them will still be big and then one of them will be smaller or maybe both of them will be smaller. Like it'd be, it'd be good to have like a variety of options. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just try to do like one thing. Let's do a Y fork, right? Yeah. 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 So make trunk. I'm going to fix this right now. <laughs> trunk sprite. Okay. So maybe we have um, uh, on game update. And then every five seconds, then we'll have like a big if to decide what we do. And depending on the if, we'll call this make trunk sprite um, on stuff. Or maybe not on the on game update. Maybe it's on collision. Okay, so make trunk sprite. And is this how you spell this word? Hmm. Huh. Uh, no, no C in there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was like, I, it doesn't look right, but I don't know how to fix it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then let's edit the function and let's have a one that's like target sprite. And then we'll, we'll deal with that outside of this function. And then set the, instead of setting the velocity, we'll have it follow that one. Hey, Richard, I'm trying out this new thing where I explain what I'm doing with the code. I noticed. Right. I think it's going well. Good? Good? Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm ha- always happy to not explain anymore. Mm-hmm. So let me know if we don't want to talk about code anymore. And then and then I'll I'll you know, not do that. <laughs> and then we'll make we'll this do. make this kind goal. We're gonna set this to be goal. So we're gonna follow the goal. And then this one, let's make this kind to be trunk secret. That's not how I spell trunk. <laughs> trunk secret. Okay. And then where are we going to put the goal? Let's put it at 80 and then 60. Nope. That's not how you do that. It's one by one. It's going to be a pixel here. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what was happening. <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> 
we all are. I'm also extremely sleepy today. So mm-hmm. this is going to be like, you know, a, a, a sleepy, a sleepy stream. Yeah. But even I feel like low energy RV stream is still, you know, pretty, pr- pretty dramatic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, things are happening. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to speak ill of our other streamers, but we bring the energy, you know. Yeah, you know, we bring the drama. Richard, where is our controversial um, fact of the day? Programming oh, fact. my controversial programming opinion? Yes. Hmm. I really should have written down the list of these that I generated. Yeah. Okay, let's do the fork. Fork into Y. Oh, you know how some you know how some programming languages do the arrows with equals greater than, and some do them with dash greater than. Yeah, I've never heard of dash greater than. C plus plus does it. Ah, oh, okay. I hate that. Greater th- equals greater than forever. Okay, sure. Yeah, I've never heard of the second one, so I I, I agree. <laughs> What? Mm-hmm. You've done C++, right? Um, kind of. It was it was difficult, and I and I don't remember much of it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my experience with C++ too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, Richard, what time is it? It's time for arcade sprite data. <laughs> were you were you thinking like what time is it? <laughs> There's so many times it could be. <laughs> Um, it, um, yes, I was thinking about that. It did take, I don't know if you noticed how, how shocked I was when I got into actually doing it. Yeah. I was like, um, I feel like we, this, it's only ever one time when we ask what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't... Every time I hear what time is it, I think adventure time. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fair. That, that's my bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what are we doing? We're going to make. So here's my question. Do we want to smart, smartly do like the fork or should we just randomly put... Oh my gosh, this needs to stop. Should we just randomly put um, two spots and then hope it looks cool? Probably ri- randomly put for now, right? Big strokes? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, okay. So then let's see, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, we can use this. Oh, yeah, we could do that. That's a good idea. Place. So instead of doing the follow, we could just, you know, yeah. set the velocity to whatever the set to velocity is and then just do a random range for the angle. Yeah. But then but then we won't have this nice overlap so when we get there. Let's do this for oh, now. Yeah. And then if it's bad, we can quickly backtrack. Could use a lifespan instead. Oh, Hmm, what do we do? What do we do? Let's do... Okay, I guess we'll get rid of the sprites. Ooh, so w- one thing we could uh-huh. do is if we did this if we did this as a lifespan, uh-huh. right? And then we do the on destroyed is when we do a split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on destroyed we like potentially do whatever we want. Okay, so on... So we're, we're changing directions. This truck was going down this way, but now we're just doing like a slight, you know... Slight curve yeah. to the left. It's Don't like make us turn this RV around us. Well, I wouldn't say we we're tur- we're turning like backwards. You know, it's still the general bonsai energy, right? Don't make us turn this RV at a right, like a ninety degree angle. <laughs> us. Yeah. Okay. On kind of tree trunk secret destroyed. Then we move this here instead of doing this here. We get this. Okay. We get rid of this. We get rid of this, and then make trunk sprite. Let's do, uh, okay, 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 okay. So then in this one, we're also going to add a number. What number is it going to be? It's going to be angle. And then the speed will always be the same. Oh, maybe we make a, do we make the distance um, edit function? Yeah, maybe we do another number that's like distance. Sure, sure, sure. Wow, this this <laughs> this game brought to you by Arcade Sprite Util, <laughs> but not place. So yeah, so many one. of our games are. Mm-hmm. Bye, Davix. Bye, Davix. <laughs> Wait, why is there just a why is there just a message that says pointer? 
Oh, because we were talking about C++ pointers. Oh, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Oh, I like, the, I like the, I like the one that I like the dash thing better. I disagree with you. Mm -hmm. hmm. I've never seen the. I like the thick arrows. I don't like the thick. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is well, very controversial, Richard. Very good. Okay, so now we make two trunk sprites, and then we're gonna start them both at the place where our first sprite was destroyed. And then at the Y. When I first learned about pointers, <laughs> our professor didn't really explain it. And they're just like, if, if, you, if you have more questions about this, read this 40 page or like eight page paper. I don't remember if it was eight or 40. And, and that wasn't helpful. And then, <laughs> and then I had nightmares about pointers. I think everyone, you know, like when they first learned about pointers, this was like, I don't know enough about this. This was not explained to me well. Yep, yep. I I dreamed, my dream was that everybody, like people had pointers. So you only had five pointers and you had to choose five people to point at. And if you let, let go of oh, the- Oh, sorry. Is this like a ref counting stress stream? No, or... just a pointer stress stream. I like you have you have one pointer for your hand, your hand, your feet, your feet, and your head. And sometimes you know people could be lost forever if if um if there's no pointers pointing to them. That's ref counting. I, I don't know what ref counting is, but um, what is ref counting? It's like a it's like a way of doing garbage collection oh. where um you basically track um how many pointers are pointing to an object, and when it goes down to zero, it gets garbage collected terrifying <laughs> hate python does it notably hmm what does it python does oh okay and then pick random we'll have one at the left and then one at the right but maybe we'll also store like the previous um angle but we'll do that later and also this is not this is not degrees this is radians so we'll convert degrees to radians Actually, we'll pass it in as degrees and then we'll do the convert later because I don't want this block to get in any longer. So, okay, if this is zero, this is 90, 180. What's 180 plus 90? 270? 270 straight up. Okay, so we're going to have 180 to 270 and the next one will be 270 to 360. Is this gonna I like be, it. Is this going to be too math heavy, do you think? I don't think so. Okay, okay. And we'll, That's what? the nice thing about the sprite util thing is because you just pass in the angle and, you know, you don't have to do math or yeah. sign or sign or anything. Yeah, boo math. Okay, so I, I did not mean to boo math. I'm so sorry, math. <laughs> 60, okay. okay. I don't think it's in the list of things we're about. That's that's true. Okay. Um. Let's, okay. And then, well, we didn't set the lifespan. Phew. This is going to be math. By the way, uh huh. make code does not do ref counting. We used to, but now we do mark and sweep. What's that? Um, so mark and sweep is like periodically you go through all of the objects and then you mark the ones that are meant to be cleaned up and then you, you clean them all up at once. So they mm -hmm. stick around for a while and then you do periodic garbage collection instead of just doing the ref counting thing. Ref counting is good, but it it um it has problems with well, there's a few different problems. There's like ref loops, and then also like it makes the pointer axis slower because now you need to like keep track of them, and I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other stuff. Distance. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to do math. <laughs> Divided by speed will be the lifespan. Oh, just make the u just make the units work out. Yes. Yeah. I always do it. The units work out is probably right. These are the units. So it's distance divided by the speed, which I hard coded as 10. I'm definitely not going to have regrets about that in the future. And times let's. Times 1,000. Times 1,000. Okay, we got a question. Yeah. What was our, what was our favorite subject in school? I think my favorite subject depended on teachers. I'm pretty sure it's not times 1,000. <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I like it my is. teachers. Is it? It, it just disappeared yeah. really fast. Our, our speed, our speeds are in um, um, pixels per second. 
So oh. you need to convert it to milliseconds. Oh, okay. Distance. Oh, did I not pass in the right values at first? Yeah, I didn't change this. Okay, so let's have this to be 270. Richard, what is your favorite subject? Um, I'm assuming this is like pre-college. In college, it was just like computer science stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I was really into theory of computation and that stuff that people don't usually like. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, But in high school, I think my favorite was art. Ooh. Absolutely. Did you make stuff? Um, what did you make? I liked drawing and um, doing sculpture. Oh, sculpture. That's cool. Which um, I do not do anymore. And I was never really, like, really good at, but I enjoyed it. Mm. I feel like in college, my favorite, I like, I had a comics class that I really liked where we just like. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just read, read comic books and then we were like, yeah, you know, that was a book, A+. Plus. And then, mm -hmm. but my favorite CS class, I feel like. I really like my bioinformatics class, and I really like my theory classes. Really liked. I really liked bioinformatics. Doing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the theory class, but with applications. So it's like, ah, oh, this is why we're learning this. I see. Why doesn't my draw work anymore? Um, mm -hmm. chat. What's what's your favorite subjects in school, and why? And tell me a fact, so I don't have to go to school, but I can still learn. Oh, in my school, we didn't have. It, wait. Um, that was only for like um, college and stuff. My high school, it was very like, you know, oh. basic classes, you know, like um, science. <laughs> well, not less. Um, yeah. I don't know. I like my English yeah, I class. Went to, I, went, I went to high school in a pretty poor district. So it was, um, we had just the basic classes and then we had uh, French and Spanish. Hmm. I like my French class. We, we, we sat on the ground. It was like being a kid. What is happening? Draw it at ten. It was working before. Okay, new truck. Is this is this because image? Set new truck with the this. Fill new image with pink. Position to position. Is it because of this? Draw a value image to bonsai wood image. Bonsai wood image. How big are you? You're still one sixty by one twenty. Hmm. 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 I've... Maybe you should console log the lifespan and see if I am wrong. I think the lifespan's fine now because it's like going. You're, you're, you're right, but it's just not drawing. Oh yeah, anymore. you're right. Yeah, it's just not drawing. Which is curious, very strange. Or yeah. value of that draw value image to bonsai wood image add value at oh, value. Oh nope, nope. <laughs> oh yep, that'll do it. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Excellent. Okay, something's happening. All right, that's, that's good. That's something. Mm -hmm. Let's change this to be purple. And let's go to our fork code and see what's happening. So you place it on spread. Ah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we're going to do more Minecraft streams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he Richard, Minecraft makes my head hurt. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Oh, you mean just like the motion and stuff? Mm -hmm. Did you mess with all those settings to turn off like the motion bobbing and all that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick random. Well, you don't have to join the Minecraft streams if you don't want to. I want to go. <laughs> okay, let's make this a bigger number. I'll figure something out. Okay. Oh, oh, I wish there was like training. I could just get less motion sick. <laughs> I bet you that there is some like accessibility options or something we can enable. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, and let's set this to be a hundred percent chance for now. Yeah, yeah. I'll try. Maybe I'll try third player mode and then be good at that because it's hard to do third player. Okay, and then maybe instead of fifty, just for testing, we'll change this to be ten now, and then the width sprite data width as number minus one max so that's fine pick random angle this is all over the place okay let's just console log these angles just to see if we're getting reasonable values angle the first one's angle second one's distance those are and why are we calling it so much okay 
We oh okay. We call it twice, but it's just because it's a weird value that it's doing it. Okay, so placing. Here. Oh, it's because the first number is trunk. Oh, that's silly of me. <laughs> I was placed putting the numbers in the wrong thing. So the first one is the width. The second one is the y. Oops. Oh yeah, that explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Minecraft VR? Is that a thing? It is. And it is notoriously like, well, I haven't tried it, so I shouldn't say anything. This is cool. Looks good. Don't mind that. Okay. So. You need to make the distance smaller, I think. The distance? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. So 10 to 40. And then what if also, mm -hmm. so, okay, so we have like a chance to do two, but I think we should also have a chance to do one mm -hmm. at an angle. So that way we get some, you know. Yeah, just regular branches. Yes, for sure. Let's do that first. Else, okay. Let's split this into 50. No, let's let's just test them for, for now. So then we'll make a chunk sprite. And then what is it going to be? It's going to be the width minus one. It's at the same place. And then it's just going to be a ring, random angle. Okay, that's good. Let's just see this. Yep, it's just growing. <laughs> okay, what other cases do we want? Should we, maybe we just keep the random angles? I think that looks cool. I think the random angles do look good, yeah. Oh, maybe. So one thing we could do is that instead of having a chance to just like end it entirely, mm -hmm. we could, um, well, I don't know how tough that's going to be. What is it? I was going to say, we could just keep track, keep track of the distance, and then, like, after a certain amount of distance, stop making them. So whenever we create a new trunk sprite, we would do sprite data to say, I have so far gone 50 pixels. Um... And then, like, it will add the distance to whatever its new value is. And then once it's over, like, 200, we stop. Hmm. Could we just do a game update and then, oh yeah, I've gone for, yeah, we should do a game update and say how far you've gone. Yeah, I mean, the main thing I'm trying to get to is like right mm -hmm. now we have it where it goes off screen. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. And we don't want it to go off screen anymore. But if we, if we branch, then the distance won't even matter anymore. What if I just make it like a big outline sprite and if it gets there, we just destroy it? Oh, that works. No more math. It might make all. It might make. It might make all of our trees very square. But... Oh. Mm, that's true. Well, you know, you live and you learn. You got to make mistakes to grow. And if I'm gonna mm -hmm. be taught to not be lazy anymore, <laughs> I need to do okay, the. Don't make it. A, don't make. Don't make it a square. Just like smudge it up. You know. Oh sure 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 okay. Uh, okay, I'll just go. Oops. Yeah. But we won't be able to tell, I feel like, after a while because the branches won't all go that way, you know? Hopefully it won't be that dense, maybe. I think you'll you'll notice that everything is ending at the perfect square, you oh, know? Okay, sure, sure, sure. If you have a lot, a lot of branches, so if you smudge it up a bit, it'll make it look a bit more natural. Sure, sure, sure. And we're all about, you know, realism. Yeah. So when I add feel... that to the stage. I feel bad. Somebody said this math is hurting their brain. <laughs> I didn't want it to be math, but this is what's happening. We're sorry. There won't be more, much more math. Yeah, I feel like, you know, instead of thinking about it as math, think about it as, you know, putting random numbers and see what happens, because that's basically what we're doing. Okay. That's probably fine. How do I add? Hmm? What? How do I add something we're about? Oh, you do exclamation add about. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to do an on game update. And then for all the thing, all the trunk secrets, we're going to see if they overlap with any of the red. And if they do then we're going to destroy it. And I think I can just run the over is overlaps, right? 
because then I'll just check pixels. If value overlaps. It, hmm? it ignored my message. Oh no, it's there, cool. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a random, random one. Okay, if it overlaps, then we destroy it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we got a question. Has an official game ever been created using make code? I don't know what that means. Like a game that you pay money for? No. Let's switch the kind first, right. though. Hmm. That's just because we're all about open stuff. If you're saying, like, a really good game, yeah, there's plenty to go to our form. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. And now when it hits the red. It will be destroyed. Let's just see it first, and if it does that, then we're going to hide the red. Kind of looks like a football goalpost. I like the change yeah, in width. I like, think it adds a lot. Yeah, no, it definitely does. Um, it's like a football goalpost, but like one that you left out in the sun too long. Uh-huh. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay. And then outline is going to be invisible. That will still do overlaps. And let's just see what happens if we do like 50. No, no, no. Let's branching chances like 20 and then like random direction chances like high. I want that to be like 70 and otherwise 10%. Oh, maybe it should be like 50% and then 50 this is 30%. This is just subtracting to make 100%. Why is It'll it cast on null? On what? Do a debugger. Ugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I saw the O. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this looks realistic. It should have forked more. Okay, maybe depending on the width it forks more do you think Wait, why didn't it fork at all oh that's true maybe it's because it's the first one and oh, i think it forked there yeah oh you have it a 20 percent chance to fork yeah yeah, I'm thinking maybe depending on the width, no. it's like a function of width. Way bigger. Right? You could make it a function of width for sure, but I feel like it should be way bigger than 20%. Okay, 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 okay. Let's make it 40%. And then we'll just make this You want else. it to work usually, right? Well, I don't know. I'm just worried to be like, Bleh, you know? The other thing is instead of using percent chance, we should probably do that thing where oh. we do a random range and then we... Do it so we can actually control it because it's hard to reason it about. That's true. That's true. This is looking good. It's this pretty is good. Looking good. We should make leaves come off of it. Oh right? yeah, no, we have to do leaves. Yeah. Okay. And then okay, let's do the thing Richard was talking about, where it's like, pick a number, any number. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> and then it's gonna be a random value from zero to a hundred. No, to 99, not to 100. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. And then, no, to 99. <laughs> and then if it's less than whatever, then we make it. Okay, no, if this number is less than 40, because we said 40%. Oh, yeah, adding up to 100 before was, was silly and, and nonsensical. But now it is sensical. Else, if it's less than 70%, then we do that. Okay. But then we should change this number depending on the width. Maybe, but maybe we do leaves first, you know? I think that'd be cool. Let's do leaves first. I think that's a good idea. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like, once we have all the pieces in place, it'll be fun to tweak the numbers and get the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things yeah, yeah, going. Yeah. So, okay. how are we going to do leaves? What's your, what's your vision? <sighs> maybe on game update, we see. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like we have to have like leaf points, you know, and then at each leaf point, we have a leaf stage and the stage will say how big the leaf has gotten, you know, because I wanted to see it blossom as time goes on, you know? 
Ah, I see. Okay, so what you should do, I think, is that in an on-game update interval, we'll for we'll loop over all of our current chunk sprites, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll put a leaf seed at that location, <laughs> which will be its own sprite. Um, and then we'll have another on-game update that will level up the leaf seeds. Yeah, they won't move. Yeah. Just get sick. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm super. And now I can't decide if I want the leaf seeds to be like pre-coded you know, images, or if I wanted to try to be like, yes, let's do this with math, you know? Yeah. All right, we got a question. How long have we been working for Microsoft? I've been working at Microsoft for like five and a half years. Mm, I've been at Microsoft for almost three years this August. But, oh my gosh, today is my exact one year date of working at, at MakeCode. What? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have done something. Oh, well, you know, I feel like I really pushed the one year of knowing Shannon, one year of knowing you. Well, Richard, tomorrow will be our one year of knowing each other day. Uh -huh. So so I feel like, you know, just celebrating this one is kind of silly because this one's just about me. Who cares? But the other one's about everybody, you know? True. Yeah, it's much better. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. I keep track of everything. Okay. And then we're going to make this a one by one. Let's just make it like a green thing, you know? Well, maybe it should be red, like a fall bonsai. But then why would it be growing? Ooh, that's not... So, okay, I think what we should do is we should generate the color scheme at the beginning. <gasps> yes! Yes! Okay, okay, let's do that right now because I'm so hyped about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll do we'll do an orange, red, yellow. Yes, yes, we'll do a green, teal. And then we'll do, I don't know... Purples. Like, because yeah. they have those, you know, like Japanese maples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one of those in my backyard. Okay, so it's going to be an array of arrays. And I think let's have, maybe let's pick four colors. I don't know what the fourth color will be. But We um, don't even have to. We could just pick. It doesn't need to be the same for each, you know? Oh, I was thinking, like, the first one would be, like, trunk color and the second one would be. But I like I like that it could just be a random. Oh. Know, let's just do random. No, let's, I, like, well, I like your point, but. Okay, I feel like random might be difficult because... Then when you're picking the color, how do you know which one the index is? And it's like, oh, you know, so much work. Okay, Richard, you come up with the color schemes, okay? Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that right now. Let me okay. pull up the editor so I can look at the color numbers. Okay, I'll make the I'll make the the holes for it. Um, what do you think? Four colors for each one? Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll have a fourth one just for buffer. We'll have like trunk. We'll have leaf. Stage zero, like okay. two colors for leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, are you ready for colors? Yeah. All right. Okay. First one, trunk is 14. Mm -hmm. Then we've got um, five, mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. and two. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's our fall. Sound. Oh, lovely. All right. Next okay. one, uh -huh. trunk color is 13. Uh huh. Then we've got um, six, uh -huh. seven, uh -huh. and uh, three. Sure, of this course. This one, I'm calling Cherry Blossom. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, do you have another one? Yeah, okay, next one. Trunk color mm -hmm. is 12. 12, uh-huh. Then the um, we've got 11, mm -hmm. 10, mm -hmm. and 3 again. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Sounds great. And then we'll just choose a random one at the beginning. And everybody's saying congrats for my one year. Thanks, everybody. It's been a great year. <laughs> Color scheme index. I'm excited to meet everybody in person. I wonder That's true. We've never met in person. Isn't that wild? It is wild. You know, like I know you and the other, you know, folks like really well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, this is this is just going to be greater than ever. And then we'll really appreciate each other. And instead of color scheme index, I'm just going to do color scheme because we have this lovely block. And then this is gonna oh new variable color schemes. <laughs> um okay, color schemes. And then we're oh, gonna man. your 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 video for me is like getting super glitchy. It's awesome. Okay. It's it's fine on stream. It's fine on stream. Okay. I think it's just my computer. That's okay. Maybe it's also this my other computer okay so we're gonna do the color scheme get value at zero because that's the trunk color and then 
okay spoilers i don't want to see it yet okay and then for this one for the leaf let's color scheme get a uh, value at one do you think richard hmm oh for the leaf yeah for the new leaf um i think you should just choose a random one and then we'll just grow with the same color you know oh okay so let's pick random and what we could do is we could make it so that the last color is the least likely oh trying to think if there's a math way to do that nah 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 let's just do a big if math nah okay. uh-huh okay 50 percent chance <laughs> else if and this is gonna seem weird but it's gonna be an 80 percent chance And then otherwise, it's going to be the other one. So this is going to be a one, two, and then least likely color three. And then let's set a variable onto it as a number. Yeah, you're also going to have to. Oh, no, you're fine. What? What? No, that's it. What? I was being dumb. Oh. I was thinking I was thinking the I was thinking wrong. OK, OK. Now I feel like this is a secret leaf color. Maybe I'll just call it color. And then let's do it this. You could also just do get pixel on the zero zero of the image. Oh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> but what if it the leaf isn't isn't a square, you know, and there's nothing there? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we, we don't know what we're, we're going to do in the future. The future us could be smart or dumb. So I, right. just... I mean, it's the future us we're talking about, baby, <laughs> and it's probably going to be dumb. Yeah, true. Okay, uh, let's see. New leaf. It's this should be one by one, one by one. Okay, done. One year. What a great year! And then this should be two, and this should be three. And oh, yeah, then, I'm so excited to see this go. Let's see it go. It's a brown trunk, very reasonable, and it has no leaves because. We're not rendering it to the screen and we need to set it at a Z index. Okay, so then on Z index, let's also go over all arrays of kind leaf seeds. And then for that, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, now we'll see. <gasps> it's a light purple, okay. Why did it just go sideways? Who knows? Oh, is the original trunk not showing up anymore? This is so cool. <laughs> Why? I actually haven't seen it yet because um, your your uh, screen share is such that I can no longer see anything, basically. No. Um, is stream okay? Stream's okay. Okay. It's just mine. Stream, you stream chat. You gotta tell me if something bad happens. You know, I I depend on. Sorry, I'm I've, I've got it up. Oh wait, okay. it fixed itself. I can see now. Oh no, oh no, is the reason why it's broken is because undo? What, 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 what? <laughs> well, okay, outline is gone. Oh, you're right. So that's... Man, we need to, I fixed this bug, we just haven't released it yet. We should release it, it's a, it's a good fix. Yeah, just real fast, scribble it up. Yeah, 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 don't think, just draw. No, think, just draw. Okay. Um, and hopefully it'll overlap, but I'm still gonna fill it in. Mostly, okay, that's good enough. Stream is okay, excellent. And then bonsai wood image, this is not 160. Okay, this is still 160 by 120. That's good. Wow. Okay, now we need to, determine why oh because we have we didn't place the leaves they're probably all at the same place so let's do that yeah i can see it it's a pixel in the middle of the screen <laughs> wait i think that's from i'm um, setting the target before maybe that's okay it's okay oh really maybe set new leaf position maybe i should also set them to be like 
ghosts. So stuff. you should probably do like a 50% chance to put it on the left side of the trunk or the right side mm-hmm. on the trunk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I can see why, but like on the left or right. 50% else. 50%. Just like a coin. This is coin simulator. Let's make a coin simulator sometime. <laughs> and then... Like the easiest program to do. Yeah, okay, but what if we like do like ellipses and we do like transformations on it to make it hyper realistic that makes it significantly more difficult yes 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 if we can do anything it's making a simple problem hard mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay and then let's make it just the y watch out occam <laughs> yeah this is um make good arcade live streams what's the opposite of razor sandpaper <laughs> <laughs> and then instead of left it's going to be right and then okay now we just see the leaves and there's no trunks anymore uh-huh that makes sense does this, it make sense this doesn't confuse me at all mm-hmm. maybe it's just because we picked the wrong number you know let's refresh again Okay, I'm assuming we picked the wrong number before. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, that has leaves. Okay, so I think we need to fix the first problem where it's like, why can't we see the trunk at first? Yeah. Am I calling? I'll call this last. Oh, it's because the color scheme hasn't been set yet. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, yep. That makes sense. (laughs) That makes sense. Okay. Okay, and then let's do, okay, let's do another variable. Number of splits so far. And we'll increase this every time we make another trunk. And so we'll, we're going to be more likely to split depending on this number. So then set number of splits so far. And then here we're going to change this number by a certain value depending. So we're going to change this by 2 here. And here we're going to change it by one. And then so here we're going to, I want, my goal is at first we want a hundred percent split. Otherwise it looks a little bit silly. Uh, oh, here. Okay. Pick a number, any number. And it's going to be 100 minus number of split so far. I think that's a good way to do it. Maybe you do 100 minus like five times the number of splits so far. Or mm. not maybe not five, but like two. Oh yeah. Maybe we do this divided by a number. No, times a number. Right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it times. You like, want times it by like by like two at least. Yeah. This way we're guaranteed to split it the first time. Yeah, but you, you don't want to pick a number any number. You want number of split so far, right? Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, wow. Split. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like it. We should also increase the um, the leaf. The, you should be less likely to get leaves the closer you are, right? So oh. the higher number of you you want your leaves on the limbs, not True. towards the center. Yes, the trees aren't focused on growing leaves when they're trying to grow big and strong. Okay, so it's gonna be um, number splits. The lower number is less chance, so it's gonna be number splits so far. Maybe let's times that by like. Two and five. It should be like times five, I think. Yeah. yeah. And let's throw this in here. Hi. Uh, how be <laughs> making a bonsai simulator using math? Yeah, I can switch that. I think. Wait, Richard, can you switch that? <laughs> math all caps. <laughs> that looks pretty good. I don't mind that. Oh my gosh, I want to make some flowers sometime too. Okay, maybe sometime, maybe percent chance sometimes it's flowers. Okay, we'll do we'll that later. First off, we got to do the leaf growing. It does look cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so on game update, every 500, let's do this, let's do this. And then for element, let's do before we make new leaves, let's deal with our current leaves. Uh, oh, let's set the data on the leaf too to be like leaf stage. Well, okay. How do we want to do the leaves? Now that is the question. 
Maybe we just well, draw... I think the easiest way mm -hmm. to do it would be if you had an array of different leaf images, and then we like each one is the stage, and then we just do a replace color. Oh. We do a clone and then a replace color. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. My other proposal is we just add like circles to it. You know, <laughs> the image. Maybe that could look leafy. But yeah, let's just let's do the other one because it makes. I feel like it's a more visual sense making thing. <laughs> So let's make a leaf. Let's make it eight by eight seems big, right? Five by five. We'll probably start out just one by one. Oh, sure, sure, it. sure. Yeah. One by one. And then I we have this. Let's make it exponential <laughs> two by two. It doesn't seem too extreme yet, right? Should they all be squares? But this, wait no, for th probably shouldn't be. Oh yeah. Squares. Maybe I'll make it like that. That's a leaf shape. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Ah. Uh, they're named. Okay, back at it, with fresh image blocks, and a classic two by two. No. No name. <laughs> and this one's a one. Oh, one. I see what happened. I tabbed. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a bug we should follow. We should file. But yeah, we you had focus on the asset name and you were typing the shortcuts for the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonsai are so serene. Agree. <laughs> Very beautiful. I want to make some bonsai right, from like should... clippings. Mm-hmm. We should do like one even bigger. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Like what? What are you gonna say? Mm. I don't know. Maybe like seven by seven or eight by eight. Seven by seven, breaking the exponential pattern. I wonder if we should rotate it. Maybe like chances to rotate the image. That's good. Or at least flip it. Oh, yeah, true. Just yeah, yeah. We'll just do like a chance to flip vertically and a chance to flip horizontally, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Yeah, maybe we grow it not as fast as 500. Maybe we grow it every second. Serene, you know? Oh, Richard, where's your where's your music thing that we use for the tea? <laughs> My music thing that we use for the tea? Yeah, it was like the Japanese thing, synthesizer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's in yeah. a cabinet. No. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. I, we'll just need a vocal rendition of it. Twang. <laughs> that's that's fine. It's, yeah, I I have a Japanese synthesizer that's meant to accompany poetry readings. <laughs> It's pretty cool, but I don't have it out right now. Poetry readings? I didn't realize this for that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and then we need to get the value as a number. What time is it? I haven't been keeping Oh my gosh, we only have six minutes left? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. If it's less than something... <laughs> I feel like the more pressure there is, the, the less descriptive my, my descriptions are. And it's less than the length minus two? Um, yeah. Okay, this is going to be called leaf images. New variable, rename leaf images. <laughs> Poetry. Oh, yes, you know. Um, how bright is the sun? Well, if you can't see it, then it is brighter than anything. <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Focus. If it's that. Oh, sun, your brightness is like the sun. Poetry. <laughs> yes, that's in a poetry. <laughs> poetry. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Set the image to this. Do I have to make a copy of it? Yeah. So do a clone, and then we can use the get image block to do like a fifty percent chance to flip it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So clone. What picture? Oh, also we got to make it this. And then what picture is it gonna be? It's gonna be the array get value at. Clone. We gotta change this one first. Leaf images get value at 
and then we have to get the stage as a number and then we got to change the color get out of here get out of here get out get out of here image fill set i just never learned uh-huh uh-huh wait sorry what did you say <laughs> i wasn't paying attention they just never learn yeah they really don't they just so, keep coming back it's blocked yeah get out of here <laughs> okay change it from pink to be pink to be and then we're gonna get the value as i think i said number before yeah it's a number okay or color i think i called it color yeah and, and then with chance we flip 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 i wish i could do a flip yeah me too i, I don't have i have fear in my heart <laughs> the other day i had a dream that i could walk around while doing handstands that's cool yeah it was pretty cool but then i woke up and that was not the case i was mm. like oh you you could if you wanted to i bet you could figure it out question mark it's really hard hmm. okay now we'll have growing leaves full screen full screen full screen full screen full screen my bad <gasps> It looks so cool. It looks cool. It looks very good. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. I want to make a poetry generator so that it puts a random poem. <laughs> Wait, do another one. Do another one. Do another one. Okay, another tree. Doing. Do, 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 da. That's my poetry music. Twang. <laughs> boom, boom. Twang, twang, twang. <laughs> Boom. Ta -da. Boom. Yeah, I feel like we should come back to this and do a lot of do a lot of tweaking on the numbers because I think we could we could get this to where it looks really good. You yeah, know? I, I feel like if it's a smaller width, it should be more like maybe it should have been a function of the width if it branches or not. Could be another thing we could do is like so I feel like in bonsais you often have clusters of leaves. Mmm. True. So if we put like a leaf, then we just make it so that it, it, when it gets bigger, it has a chance to make more leaves around it. And then it kind of grows into like a pod. And then when we lower the overall chance of having a leaf. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's still lots of things to do. Oh, now we can see all of the different color schemes. I'll, I'll run this a few more times. Yeah. But I did say, you know, pretty good for a first, this is, this is a sad tree. Pretty good for a first, first go at it a whack for a thing I think, yeah i think we, i think we did a good job don't whack bonsais they can't handle it no 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 we're taking a whack at the bonsai problem not the physical bonsai obviously <laughs> Whoa, look at this okay good. wow this is so cool but anyway thanks for joining the stream i hope you learned things about trees maybe things about math tree maintenance Topiaries, bonsais, mm -hmm. plants, procedural generation. Me and Richard. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I was... PRs, yep. RVs. <laughs> um, what's not to learn on this stream? So, my name is Vivian. I am at Live Cheerful on the Mako forums. Um, my name is Richard, and I'm really excited to write a poetry generator. <laughs> yeah, it should be like ad libs. We can have, like, different poetry structures. Or mad libs, you know? And then it'd be, like, verb. We, yes, we definitely have we to We could add... do like a haiku where we do like first sentences and last sentences you can choose from and then a middle sentence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. This this game is really more about the ambiance rather than like anything else. So. Yeah. If, if, if we do that though, Shannon definitely needs to be here. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Okay. We'll do this. We'll do this. Um, and also this could be about time because bonsai is really about taking your time. So, um. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this classic RV stream, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.